look for, for the for the moment, perhaps what what I can give you is uh, is our general uh, stance on um, on this issue. Um, as you as you have noted yourself in the last CVM report, the Commission considered that uh, the progress made by Bulgaria is indeed sufficient to meet the commitments made at the time of Bulgaria's accession to the European Union. And at the same time, we made clear that Bulgaria needs to ensure a continued implementation of the necessary reforms, notably relating to judicial independence and the fight against corruption. Uh, our position on this is, is therefore well known and it has not uh, changed. But maybe I can also add that uh, in addition to this, the transition to the new rule of law mechanism will give the Commission the means to pursue work with Bulgaria on the necessary reforms. You said you had a follow-up, Catherine. Catherine. Okay, we'll see if we can connect back uh, to you later because there seems to be a problem with your... Uh, okay. There you are. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you say that um, you expect Bulgaria to respect those commitments made. Well, it's pretty clear, especially to the people in Bulgaria, that those uh, commitments are not being respected. And um, what I see online is that a lot of people in Bulgaria are wondering why the Commission is sitting on its hands. I mean, somebody asked, um, uh, I think it was Georgi asked, uh, Baldus Dombrovskis about this a couple of weeks ago, uh, if he was aware of the use of police violence. And he said, yes, the Commission is aware of violence against peaceful protests in Bulgaria. Is that it? I mean, is there going to be something else? And do you think that the use of, uh, of force at this moment is proportionate? It doesn't appear to be. And uh, what I mean, what do you intend to do? I mean, if you if you if you can't condemn this violence directly and explicitly, you're actually a tacit enabler. Catherine, I think uh, we have to be careful with uh, with what you say. Your comments only reflect your own position on this, and uh, frankly, do not uh, reflect the important work that the Commission does uh, in all of these areas, what we have consistently said here in this press room is that um, there is a right for uh, demonstrations and peaceful demonstrations in uh, member states. Uh, there is uh, obviously um, a right for the member states also to uh, undertake the necessary police actions in the context of, uh, of demonstrations, but always in respect of the law um, um, when it comes to maintaining law, law and order. And we call on the member states to ensure that this is the case, that both the rights of the demonstrators are respected and that the police act in the context of, um, of the law. And that then it is up to the national judicial systems to ensure that these rights are, are respected. As far as we are concerned, we work on the basis of mechanisms that uh, are there to look into the systemic issues related to rule of law. This is what Adalbert has just described. And indeed, we uh, are not uh, looking away. We have said, in fact, that we will be looking uh, at the issue of rule of law through a new mechanism um, in, the, in the autumn with the first series of reports. And this is what we can say on this at the moment. Thank you. I see you still have your hand raised, Catherine. Do you want to? With respect, Eric, that is a complete cop-out. Um, do you think, does the European Commission think that the Bulgaria is respecting its commitment? You yourselves have pointed out that there are problems with the, 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 the prosecutor's office. Um, We've seen uh, an organized raid on the Bulgarian president's offices where the person responsible for legal affairs and anti-corruption were detained. 
saying that we have a rule of law mechanism somewhere in the pipeline or route when people in Bulgaria are out demonstrating every single day is a complete cop out. At not one point in your answer, Eric, did you say did you say that there is a failure to meet these commitments and that Bulgaria should respect its commitments under the CVM? And that uh, from uh, and, and you have an office in Bulgaria. Is there nobody in Bulgaria who's capable of giving you a statement of what is actually happening on the ground? Thank you, Catherine. We have said everything that we want to say on this. Adalbert has been very clear, and so have I.